Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, I promised a little micro review too. So we're gonna look at uh, nunchucks here, and I've got the quantity and price uh, relationship for nunchucks. Can anybody figure out what relationship this illustrates here? Well, as the price is increasing, the quantity is ding decreasing. So this is the demand schedule uh, for nunchucks here. And what we're gonna do, uh, I'm going to make three videos here to give us the three tests for uh, determining the elasticity, uh, whether it's elastic, inelastic, or a unit elastic, um, for nunchucks. So the first test, and probably the most popular test, is going to be our total revenue test. If you remember how to find total revenue, that's price times quantity, it's not too tricky. Um, so if you just multiply these together, uh, as you go down here, so you get 100, 160, 180, 160, and 100 again. All right? Now, the question is, what the heck does all that mean? Well, think about it again here. And, and I always like to use, think of the examples that we talked about of an inelastic good. What's the one that we always talk about? Insulin. Because think about it. If the price of insulin goes up, uh, is anybody going to stop buying it? No. The quantity is going to not change too much at all. Uh, and so the price goes up and the total revenue goes up because people are going to continue to buy it. They're going to continue to purchase it. Uh, versus, say, apples, where if apples, the price of apples goes way up, I'm going to say, well, 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 I'll go get some oranges, I'll get some mangoes. Mangoes starting to come around in the season, tasty, juicy, delicious, uh, and not expensive like apples, apparently. So that would be a more of an elastic good where the price goes up, people stop buying it, and the revenue goes down. So let's take a look here. If you look from 10 to 30 in this stretch here, the price went from 10 to 30, so the price went up. Total revenue did what? From 100 to 180, it went up. This equals inelastic. So if they operate in the same direction, inelastic. And you can think about it in the reverse, too. Uh, so the price went down from 30 to 10. The total revenue went from 180 to 100, uh, still inelastic. Now, if you look through from 30 to, say, 50, the price has gone up from 30 to 50, but in this case, the total revenue has gone down. Equals elastic. And uh, we don't have a range here where we have unit elastic because six is our turnaround point here. Uh, but if you see the price changing and the total revenue staying the same, you're unit elastic. So that's your total revenue test. I'm going to show you the midpoint method here, uh, and we should get the same answers in just a second.